Hello, welcome. In today's class, we will create the decorative light, more like the Christmas light, also called the LED chaser. And in this project, the components we will need are one, we will need an Arduino Uno. In the previous video, we talked about the Arduino Uno and we mentioned the different pins. Number two, we need a breadboard. Number three, we need four LEDs. Later, I'll show you how you can increase this to eight with just a simple line of code. Number four, we need four 220 ohms resistors. Number five, we need jumper wires and we also need the USB cable for the Arduino. Okay, so let's get into the project. Concerning the breadboard, these horizontal lines, they are all connected together and these vertical lines, they are all connected together. So if we put a pin here and we put any other pin on any of these lines, they are all together. If we put a pin here and we put another pin on this line, they are also together. So we'll start. we we'll take this point as our ground and then we we'll get to the Arduino. If we check, we said this point here can be used as ground. So I pin it here. So I have my ground connected from my breadboard to the Arduino. We also mentioned in class that the LED, the long one is the positive and the short one is the negative. You can see I fixed the negative in the same line with the ground wire. Take it this way across. Now I'll put my resistor here, my 220 ohms resistor, put it on the same pin here and I take it across on a straight line. So I have that there and I connect here. You remember I said every connection here is on a straight line. I connect from this other end of this resistor to pin 13, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And I take the next LED. I put the negative to put it at the same pin and take it across. And then I take my 220 ohms resistor, I put on pin here. And I take this other one across also. And then I take my jumper wire, put from here, I want to go to pin 12. 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Take the next one. So I pin it and I take my resistor, cross pin from this other end of the resistor, and I take it to pin 11. And finally, I put my blue LED, and I take my resistor, and I connect this one to pin 10. So that's the simple connection. I want to program pin 13, 12, 11, and 10. Connect my Duno to my laptop, and then let's write the code. The title of this project is the Christmas lights. That's all the LED chaser project. And the first thing we want to do is we want to declare the variables and assign pins to them. We use the data type integer and we have pin 13 to the red pin integer. We have the yellow pin and it is assigned to pin 12 and we have integer green pin and we assign it to pin 11. Blue pin it is assigned to pin 10. One other variable that we need to create is the delay time whether we want the delay to be fast or we want it to be slow. So it is better we create a delay. Whenever we need to change the delay, we don't need to go into every part of the code that we have delay and change it. We just come up here and change it once and it will be affected throughout the program. Create a delay time and assign it an initial value of 1000, which in this case wants 1000 to be one second. So we have declared our variables and assigned them to pins. The next comment here is to set the pin mode. The four pins will be used as outputs. The first one is the red pin is output. The yellow pin is also output. And the green pin is also output. And the, the blue pin is also output. So we've declared the four pins that we want to use for this project. In the void loop, this is where we turn the pins 
on one at a time we'll turn on the red pin first then we'll turn on the yellow pin we'll turn on the green pin and then we'll turn on the blue pin so let me write the comment here turn on the red pin so we use digital rights to put out that information so we'll say the red pin set it to high high means turn it on then digital rights yellow pin We'll turn it off that's low the next code instead of me to keep typing i simply highlight right click and then select copy and then come down here click paste then i change this one to green this is the green pin then i go down again and i paste change this one to blue pin and i also add a delay Remember the variable that is holding the delay time is called delay time. So the second one now we want to turn on the yellow LED. So let me use LED, not pin. Turn on the yellow LED. So the same way, instead of me writing this code all over, I can simply copy and paste the code to make my work faster. So I select all, right click, and I select copy. And I come down here and I right click and I select paste. In this one, we want to turn the red LED to low, turn it off, and then turn the yellow pin on. Then if we go down, the next one is we want to turn on the green pin. So set everything to low, but set the green to high. The last one is to turn on the blue pin. We'll turn each of the pins here to low, and then turn the blue pin to high. So we'll connect our Arduino to our laptop, and then we'll test the code. So the next thing we select our board. It's on Arduino Uno, then we select the port and then we upload the code. Red, yellow, green, blue. Now it's going red, yellow, green, blue. It will go back to red. So in the next video, what we will do, we'll add more LEDs to so have up to eight LEDs. Then we'll make it to work with this method. Then I'll show you how to use a for loop where with just one line of code, we can control how it appears. See you in the next class.